We'll start by creating a new React app by using Create React App. Now we'll change into the directory and initialize a new Amplify project by running Amplify init. Here we'll give the project a name, the environment a name, choose our default text editor, and then accept the defaults for the rest of the options. When prompted for the AWS profile, choose the AWS profile that you'd like to use. Next, we'll add authentication by running Amplify Add Auth and accept all of the defaults. Now that authentication has been enabled, we can enable predictions by running Amplify Add Predictions. Here we'll choose Convert as the category and translate text into a different language as the type of conversion. Next, we'll provide a name for the resource and a target language and a source language. The target and source languages can be provided dynamically as well, but we're setting the base languages here. We'll allow both authenticated and guest users so that unauthenticated users can use our application. To deploy everything, we can now run Amplify Push. Now that the services have been deployed, we can now open index.js to configure our React application to work with Amplify. Here we'll import Amplify from AWS Amplify, the configuration from the AWS-exports file, and the Amazon AI predictions provider from AWS Amplify slash predictions. Next, we'll configure both Amplify as well as adding the new Amplify Amazon AI predictions provider. Next, we'll open app.js and import use state from React so that we can control the component state. The Amplify API that we'll use is called predictions, so we'll go ahead and import predictions from AWS Amplify at the top of the file. To hold and update the response from the predictions API, we'll create a variable called response and a function called setResponse. To hold and update the user's text input, we'll create a variable called text and a function called update text. Now we'll create a function called translate that we'll call the predictions API. In this function, we'll call predictions.convert, setting translate text as the predictions type. We'll then pass in the text as the source and set the response in a variable called data. We can then call setResponse using the translated text by calling setResponse and passing in data.text. In the UI, we'll create an input with an onChange handler that we'll call update text, passing in the event target value. We'll also set the value of the input to the dynamic text value. To call the translate function, we'll add a new button with an onClick handler set to translate. We can then view the response by setting it within a paragraph tag. Back at the command line, we'll now install AWS Amplify using either NPM or Yarn. We can now test everything out by running NPM start. 